In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at notes. Now, I know in every tutorial I say there's 101 ways to do things, but once again, there's a lot of ways to do notes. Okay. Now, the way I do notes, I find is a lot easier uh, for me. Um, what I do is for families, I actually go to Keynote, I copy paste a note in there, and it updates throughout the drawing. Um, the guys at that that do the um, Revit courses said that's not the correct way to do it. Apparently, you have to take a text file and then fill everything in there. But this works pretty well for me and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, we're just going to quickly draw a wall here, and then I'm just going to stick a door. Let's just choose one there, and I'm going to stick that door in the wall now what we want to do is we want to add a note to this door uh, let's say it's a fire door and we want a note for that now there's a couple of ways to do it one way is by uh, going TX uh, we've got an arrow there and we can just go fire door that's one way to do it okay what I like doing is when you select the door and you go to edit family and you go down to Keynote. Anything you type or copy paste into Keynote will actually display. So let's say uh, this is a door. This door is a fire detected door. This door's code is 12 okay okay now if you select if you go to annotate and you go to keynote uh, switch off leader that note will appear now you might need to set up your note tag a bit to get it the way you want uh, the standard one will display the note but it's going to be centered and also you've got to select it you select let's try again you select the note you go edit family you use keynote value but then you can change that to whatever size you want you can say um, a line left a line center uh, center it line right and then how you want it to display if you go and edit you can actually type you can change the font you can change the the text size all of that text color you name it okay so let's make this a little bit thinner and let's say load back into project all right and there you go now the beautiful thing about this is every time you use the door and you go to annotate and you hover keynote over it a note will appear so if we make that a bit longer and we go copy okay and we go keynote there's our note okay now if you want to add a leader okay there's a bit of a problem with the leaders um, let me quickly show you if you go to annotate keynote leader to actually get that keynote to display at angles is very very difficult um, and, it, and it just takes too long so I actually just delete that and um, I just use text TX and I will do my arrow and then just do a full stop that's how I do it I'm sure there's other ways to do that as well now the nice thing about this is if you go and select the door and someone said look you know we need to change this door change the note on the door you go to that note and you say this door has been changed apply okay and all your notes throughout your drawing will update now when you've got a very big project that you're working on 
this is a huge help at least you can keep track that if you update a certain door a certain note certain spec everything's updated of course there's the the other ways to do it and I'm quickly going to show you let's say for instance you've got um, some hatching obviously the hatch is not a family and you want to give that a note and you also want to make sure that if you update the note all the notes will update uh, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna use a leader this is a note the way you do that is you group the note GP the group text one okay then if you copy the note around there you go if you go back to this note you say edit group and then you say this note has been up dated and finish family and that note will change throughout okay so there's a short tutorial on how to do notes um, I hope this helps